Hi guys, it's Denma and welcome to the Boston. And today, I want to introduce you to somebody. Um, as you know, last month we lost Cat Gar to some undiagnosed heart condition that we didn't know about. And Cat Gar was Olaf, um, the white cat that we have that has like the arms, tip to tail, and ears. That was his playmate. So I started looking for another kitten, and I specifically wanted a long, medium to long-haired black female because I wanted to name it Taylor, S Reputation Swift. Obviously, after Taylor Swift and her album Reputation, because black cats are unlucky, and that's her thing with her number 13 and all that. So I have been looking for a black cat for a few months, even before Cat Gar passed away, and. I have gone Craigslist, Pet Finder, our local shelter. I was redoing their cat room so they weren't accepting any cats. I tried going through rescue groups and they didn't have any. And I was just like, ugh. And then I had this one lady who had two black cats that were female. They were short hair, but they were kittens still. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll get those. So I told her, yeah, we'll make arrangements go out to that town because I figured out how to get there it's not that far away and a week later I hadn't heard anything from her she was going to ask her husband when would be a good time to come for me to come get them or meet somewhere so I could pick them up because I was going to adopt the two girls she also had an orange tabby too um, but she never replied until I found my baby um, I happened to go into town to go grocery shopping and we always stop by the pet store because it's moved and it's bigger and it's cleaner and it's brand new. And we always go pet the ferrets and the small animals. And I have a look back there where the kittens, would, where cats would be in the puppies. And they had two black cats and one uh, silver tabby. One of the black cats was a long haired. So immediately I ran up to the front like, please tell me this black cat is the one with the long hair is female. And the guy was like, yes, all the black ones are female. Um, they were also dropped off while the pet store was closed in front of the door. They had left water in there and like a carrier or something. And so they, she came with her first set of shots and working. Usually I would not go to a pet store to get an animal, but that just happened to be fate, I guess. Um, so without further ado, at two and a half months old, meet Taper. Solid black. She got a little bit of runny eyes right now because you know when they come home from the pet store, they always have runny eyes or runny nose. So after we get back from Duke on Wednesday, she will be going to the vet for a regular checkup because they just gave her her shots on the first, so she won't need another set for three weeks. Yeah, you gotta get those runny eyes fixed. But she loves making muffins and doing the whole kneading thing just the purr box she's settled in quite nice greedy has accepted her she was like the first day she came home the first day we brought her home greedy would not come near me she was mad with me but she warmed up um the only time greedy just like smacks at her is if she starts messing with the greedy's tail because greedy likes to whenever she's awake, her tail's constantly moving. So then Taylor thinks that's the toy, and then she goes to bite it, and Greedy just no claws, just pops her, <laughs> but like boop, boop, and then Taylor just cowers. When I first brought her home, and she like my parents' dogs walked up to her, she just fell over because she's very submissive. She'll fall on her back um, when she gets like. Booped. Now she's more comfortable with everybody. I haven't introduced her to the cats out in the TARDIS where I'm going back to yet because of, um, I wasn't going to be there the next three days, so I wanted her to be comfortable in here. John's going to be with Lazy NPC, will be coming in and out and checking on her while she's here. She's two and a half months old, female, solid black, medium, long hair. I think she's going to be more medium hair. Very soft, very mischievous. She likes to climb on things. She hasn't learned the word no yet. She stays up all night with me and sleeps all day with me. We'll go in there, 
in the bed and she'll flop down behind my head and would lay down with me as long as I'm asleep. It's so funny. And Cody is in love with her. Cody thought it was Greedy's kitten. He's like, what, why did Greedy have to go away to have a kitten? And we had to explain to him it's not Greedy's kitten. So, hopefully she'll be able to play right with Olaf. Because that's kind of like the big reason I got her for. That is my new baby. Hopefully she will be with us for a very long time. And... You'll probably see her in future videos running around causing mischief, but that's just Taylor. On the way home, uh, we had got the cardboard cheap little carrier, just a temporary thing, just to get her out to the car, because John held her on the way home while I drove home, and she was like, um, skittish at first, and then we went over a bridge that kind of bounces a little bit towards the end because it's not very even and we got off the bridge and we got on the smooth pavement then a Taylor Swift song came on and she just chilled and milled right on out she started meeting and purring I'm like that's my baby that's fate she calmed down to a Taylor Swift song so I just thought that it was cool but we got her on the second and yeah she's doing really well and I can't wait to watch her grow and see how pretty she becomes and how annoying she's going to be during her terrible two months, I guess. But yeah, she's getting sleepy now. But she'll zoom through the house back and forth, back and forth. My dad's gotten attached to her. He's not a cat person, trust me. Um, and my mom just calls her Shadow because when you're looking at our floor, we have dark carpeting so you can't see her that well. So it's really funny. She'll be just zooming around. And we have to watch where we're going sometimes but if you have any comments or questions about her or any of my other cats put them below and i'll try to answer them as best as i can or dm me whatever um i used to be a vet tech if you have any animal questions at all dm me get me on my social medias and i'll be happy to answer any animal questions that you might have and that's it if you like this video please of course thumbs up the video for taylor if you're a Swifty or you do like cats, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe and join the pack. We would love to have you here. See you until next time. See you later. Bye guys. Mwah.